Hi, welcome back. So last time we started work on our beautiful new pebble mosaic tile accent wall by prepping our walls. So we measured the height for our pebbles, we removed the trim, we cleaned the walls, and then we covered the paint with a waterproof sealant. So let's get back to it. All right, let's take a look at the tools and materials that we'll be using. We've got scissors to cut our pebble mosaic tiles. We have premixed thin set along with a notch trowel. We have a professional grade acrylic sealant along with a roller and a pan to apply that with. We have gloves and safety glasses. To grout our pebbles, we have premixed grout and a rubber grout float. And to clean the pebbles, we have a sponge and a bucket of water. Now I've mixed up the pebble mosaic tiles to get a nice mix of shapes and colors. And I'm using these thumbtacks to create a dry fit on the wall. Now, when you get to an edge like this, you can cut the mesh if you need to, and then just remove any pebbles that overlap that edge. This will give you a little pile of pebbles that you can use to fill in any holes that you may have. This is useful at the edges or anywhere that the mosaic tiles don't interlock well. All right, we're ready to apply some thin set. Okay, now that I have my gloves on, we want to apply thin set to the wall in three foot by three foot sections and then use the notched edge to comb it. Now these grooves will give the stones extra grip. You wanna make sure that your wall is completely covered. You don't want any bare spots. Then you take your first section of pebbles and apply it to the wall. Just push it in, give it a little twist, make sure it's in there really well. Now I find that it helps to use my dry rubber grout float, sort of tap the pebbles in. I'm gonna start at the corner to make sure I have nice clean edges and work in a three by three section at a time. Now this is gonna take a while, but just take your time and make sure that the pebbles are in there really well. Make sure that it's well covered with the thin set. Remember, you want each pebble to be firmly embedded in the thin set. All right, we have finished our first step. Now we've still got a ways to go, but it is already looking fantastic. Now before we grout our pebbles, we'll need to add a coat of sealant. All right, so you wanna mix up your sealant and then using either a roller or a brush, I'm gonna use a roller, you wanna apply the sealant to just the surface of the pebbles. You wanna to try to keep the edges dry so that the grout will have something to stick to. So just load your roller and then apply the sealant top to bottom, just like this over the entire wall. Now be sure that you're working in a well-ventilated room and that you're wearing eye protection. So you wanna use your rubber grout float to just kind of push the grout in between the spaces, between the pebbles there. Now you're gonna cover up a lot of the pebbles at first, but that's okay. You can use your sponge to just sort of wipe the pebbles off. Now, you can also use a brush or a knife to expose the pebbles more if you need to. Once the grout is dry, you can install the box extender we talked about in part one. You'll probably need longer screws to attach the outlet in the new box. This will bring the outlet flush with the new wall surface. There we go. As you can see, it's all grouted. I took one last pass to make sure that all the pebbles were visible and clean. And then I added a final coat of sealant working top to bottom. Finally, I added a piece of molding. Wow, what a difference this pebble mosaic tile wall makes. Well, the only thing left now is just to keep it looking great. So when the wall gets dirty, you can just clean it with a mild detergent and a sponge. You wanna be careful not to use anything abrasive like steel wool or a scouring pad. Just a simple soft sponge will do the trick. Just take good care of it and it will stay looking great for years to come. Thanks for joining me. For Lowe's Creative Ideas, I'm Andrea Powell. See you next time. For more fantastic how-to videos, be sure to check out our other projects at lowes.com slash videos.